everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and welcome to Monday, and another Well That Happened video. The day where I usually just do what the hell I like now, but initially began with me talking about comic book news from the past week. But you know what? News was always pretty scarce on the ground most of the time. However, this week, hallelujah, something newsworthy to talk about. I just hope I can still remember remember how to do this. Now before we start, as you can see, I'm still in hiding. Mutant Eye is still very much part of my face, much to my disappointment, so another podcasting style video is hitting you. I'm not sorry, but my face probably is. Right, so this past week we've all been waiting in anticipation for Friday to come around. Now, not just because for most it's the end of the working week or that we can now drink alcohol without that work next day guilt, but fans of comic books and lovers of TV shows got justifiably excited because the two were coming together in a Netflix Marvel team up to bring us Daredevil, a dark and gritty TV show who are providing us with a full 13 episode season to sponge our weekend dry. Now before you all start putting your fingers in your ears and screaming, la 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 I've not watched it yet, no spoilers, I am not going to talk about the actual show in regards to storyline, so please stop screaming in my ear, please. Right, we seem to be living in a kind of golden age right now if you're a comic book reader and want to see all those freeze frame paper images coming to life. Now, the TV and movie world has embraced the comic book culture and given it this huge bear hug and delivered a promise that we've been waiting literally decades for. Now that's not to say we haven't had shows based on comic books before. They've just been of varying in quality. Um, back in the 70s we used to sit in front of the TV and watch shows like Wonder Woman and The Incredible Hulk. In the 80s, although it was more of an animated version, we got the likes of Spider-Man and his amazing friends or DC's super friends. Now the 90s started gearing up a little bit as we saw live action versions of The Flash, Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman and a slew of animated Marvel heroes such as X-Men, Fantastic Four and more Incredible Hulk which took over our TV screens. Now it actually wasn't until this kind of new millennium came around that we saw TV networks taking the comic book crossover to TV a little bit more seriously. We had teen favourite Smallville, which ran for a staggering 10 seasons, having this huge success, while other TV shows tried to emulate this success with shows like Birds of Prey, Mutant X and Blade. But it hasn't really been until this last decade that we are now inundated with these type of shows where the quality has skyrocketed and TV shows based on these comics as we read week in week out have become truly mainstream. We've got The Walking Dead, The Flash, Arrow, Constantine, iZombie, Gotham, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Carter, PlayStation's new show Powers and of course this weekend's debut of Daredevil which kind of kicks off this whole new line of Netflix and Marvel collaborations where still to come it's not only a, a Luke Cage show but Iron Fist, Jessica Jones and ultimately 
a Defenders TV show. And wow, now that's a lot of time spent in front of the goggle box. And I haven't even mentioned the, me the movie world. And I just wonder when this bubble is going to burst. Now, I hope it won't be for some time and other networks catch on to the style of our latest edition, Daredevil, as this show took me completely by surprise. And, and what I mean by that is that I knew going into the show that it was going to be a darker look at the Marvel Universe, but Damn it, this is a bleak and brutal show, perfectly aimed at a more adult market that doesn't rely on the latest kind of muscle-bound teen heartthrob or sexy sultress to draw in the viewers. Now, my only complaint, if it can be called a complaint, is the way that this new Daredevil series has been released. Uh, and that is that a whole series is out there for us all to watch in one big swoop. Now, a few reasons why I'm, why I'm conflicted in this matter comes to mind. Uh, the first being, and I know this is my doing and it refers to my lack of willpower, but it is the phenomenon that is the big binge watch. Having all those episodes available to watch straight away kind of removes that sense of anticipation for the next week's episode to appear. You know, those five minute chats about last night's episode around the water cooler, they're gone. Instead, you have to spend the whole lunch break discussing and remembering a whole series and all its many highlights. Secondly, binging the ultimate binging the series ultimately leads to longer waits for the next one, and we have to wait long enough as it is for shows to return to our screens. Um, hello, still waiting on Hannibal season three, folks. And finally, there is always that asshole who'll watch the last episode and then post post spoilers all over the internet. But I guess that is the world we live in now. Our fast food culture has made it into our TV habits. And here we are, we want everything straight away and in large volumes. Well, that's it for me this week. Thank you for listening. I'm off to disturb myself further and take another few trips to Hell's Kitchen. Until next week, don't forget to comment, like, and if you're not already subscribe. I'm here three times a week, folks. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon.